fair enough. Anyway, anyway, you're saying uh, somebody whooped your ass in high school? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you just said it. You had welts, and and your mom called the cops. No, this shit. is different times. I mean, I, I I was just telling you, being part of being a fighter or whatever is being able to take a punch too. Sure. Like having that strong jaw, like half of the training is getting hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, is getting I mean, hit and unless, being able to glance. Unless you know. you're Mayweather. No, he gets hit, but he he man, rolls he his shoulder. Hit, yes, he does, man. He's been he he's get, been yeah, rocked. He gets hit, but he's been not rocked. like. Can we can we pull up some Mayweather? He's never. I don't think he's been knocked out. No, he's never no. I'm talking out. about the gym. Oh, like, the gym. When I say hit, I don't mean like. Yeah, of course he gets physically. Yeah. Touched with. Some power, but I'm talking about like getting like on a consistent basis, getting your bell rung. Like a lot of like, from what I understand, a lot of UFC fighters, mm -hmm. they get in with uh, these gym wars and they just kick oh, the shit, shit out of each other. Yeah, and some sometimes they they concuss themselves. Well, if if I only got to worry about your hands, that's one thing. But if I got to worry <laughs> about your heel and your elbow oh, and fucking, God. you know. Also being grabbed and you know <laughs> choked and shit, you know, being touched against your will. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think that would infuriate me more than actually, you know, Wear, losing wearing, a fight. Like, wearing, stop touching me. Wearing somebody like a backpack, what they call it when, uh, you, when you backpack somebody. The most disrespect. You're just, you're just all over, it. and all you're doing is this the whole time, like trying a to grab backpack or the front backpack where they're like they jump on you and they're in front of you. Oh, and you're like, like, dude, you stink, bro. <laughs> they pull you down. Stop rubbing necks. You don't know where I've been. Uh, you don't know where I've been, Lou. Do you see the Canelo fight? Uh, I saw the highlights. It's it looked like the half the fight was him getting punched in the forehead. Did he lose or he won? He lost. He oh lost. wow! Yeah. yeah, he fought light heavyweight though. Well, there you go. Yeah, what a fucking cycle, right? So he didn't have anything to risk except his pride. Yeah, right, and he fine. took a, a from what I understand took a a, a beaten lesson learned yeah. get punched in the fucking head lesson by a bigger guy. I bet you he learned something from that too. Got to be quicker. <laughs> reach no, him. he Gotta learns, move faster. You, you best respect. You yeah. know, like there's yeah. there's the, the, that's the reason why there's weight classes. Yeah, you know, and th these bigger dudes they they'll fuck you up, man. He didn't get knocked out though. You know, that's yeah, so that's a plus. <clears throat> no, but I mean, he just took a beating for twelve rounds. You know, yeah. It's kind of like, I mean, I guess the knockout is just more trash talking coming that's, your way. That's like, um, God, what was that guy's fucking name? Raging Bull, Jake LaMotta. Robert De Niro? No, Jake, <laughs> <laughs> Jake LaMotta. But in that in that movie, he he was like telling Sugar Ray Robinson to like, come on, try to knock me out. And that was his downfall, his pride. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And Sugar Robinson was beating the shit out of him, and he's holding on to the rope. They called the fight, but his, he he won in his mind. He's like, you never knocked me down, though. You never knocked me down. I'm still here. And the guy was like, <clears throat> you're sick in the fucking head, bro. What a dumb guido. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe maybe that was Canelo's like wake-up call to be like, I just want to get beat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. fuck me up. Do you, do you want maybe, like, maybe that's why he kept going up in, in weight classes because he wanted the, the pressure of always winning to, like, get uh, knocked off of you. Like, I, f I feel it. I, I understand it as being the arm wrestling champ. <laughs> I'm looking I'm looking to lose So I can just stop already You know what I mean uh, just What like, episode uh, of Willful Ignorance Is, is the uh, Is the Is the arm wrestling on <laughs> One mm, Like uh, 18 episodes The last one and 1,800 uh, I think the last one with Chavaria Which was like Three of them ago Oh uh, yeah I forgot just just, You know what I feel that I feel that with uh, With stand up Like when you're killing yeah. Two, three, four times in a row, and you're like, "Ooh, I just waiting for the other shoe to drop," because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know it's coming. And like you're like like five five in a row, you're like, "Ooh, it's gonna be just as bad as, <laughs> as it's been great." All five times put together, <laughs> and I'm gonna question whether this is even this is for me. <laughs> oh, that's it's coming for you. It's like blood in the water shit. It's you see the fin, and you're like, "All right." Good thing is I'm going to waste it at this chicken restaurant <laughs> where nobody knows. Uh, so you purposely get the bomb out of the way. No, but I it is a pattern that I've, I have noticed. Like, like you called it out first and I was like, what the fuck? But then, yeah, every every like three or four times you do well, you're going to get that one <laughs> brutal fucking bomb. And it's going to be, you know, I started just I, not planning for it, but like I'm like, all right, I'm going to do every show now. You know what I mean?
I'm going to do every fucking little thing. Someone's oh, yeah. apartment, some fucking uh, little theater, some fucking uh, at a mic. I'm going to go drown it at a mic. Hopefully, it'll end up at a mic. You know what I mean? But uh, And then you end up killing at the mic, and it's like, fuck. I know, yeah. You <laughs> yeah, almost yeah, get yeah. pissed off. Like, and there's only like seven people in the crowd, and you're like, fuck, I killed it. That was a great opportunity to have the bomb where least witness is possible. It's like, uh, and it, excuse me for being dirty, but it's like when you, you bust that good nut jacket off, you're like, fuck, I should have put that on my girl. <laughs> no? You don't yeah. get when that? it's thick, when it's thick. When it's like thick and ropey. <laughs> <laughs> Making your shoulders clap like, oh. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! I should have. Uh, now no, my girls would be like, "That's it." I'm like, well, earlier. <clears throat> no, uh, I one time I I thought, is this where the term "bust a nut" comes from? Because I uh, I I think I had gone a, a while before, um, and 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 then when I finished, I felt like a pain inside my ball sack mm -hmm. as it was shooting out. I was like, oh. <laughs> it was too thick. I was like, was, I was like, oh my god, I almost passed out. <laughs> Out of here. It was too thick. Is that what you're saying? No, my balls are just it was a sting from the inside, from like the control center, wherever yeah, like the guy a good sting or sending, a bad sting. Uh, it came with the cum, so I guess it was sweet and sour. You know? Oh shit, we didn't hit the lever, Jim. Jim spoke on this shit. Whoop. Release you, the left nut. You had a right. you had a clog. You had a clog in there. <clears throat> and went, and then it and then it rushed through in the and it hurt. It was like passing, it was passing a definitely. cum stone. Yeah. <laughs> cum stone. Yeah. You know, you can get uh, epididymitis from not yeah. frequently Blue balls. ejaculating. E ejaculating, whether it's masturbating or, you know. I never heard the of the term blue balls until I got uh, in the army. Mm. And all the white guys were like, hey, man, uh, I can't understand. Uh, I, I was going to give them a Mexican accent. Hey, 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 bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Azul, bro. Bo bo I don't know what to fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, hola, bro. bro, I'm half German and half English, bro. <laughs> Pero mis balls, bro. They're all Azules, bro. <laughs> hey, fucking Smurfs, bro. Uh. <coughs> Hearing those motherfuckers. You didn't, you didn't understand that term. You didn't feel that term <laughs> until you got in the army. Or like, when is the first time you got blue balls? I want to know now. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I've gotten blue balls. Whoa. Like, isn't that supposed to be Good like where you're you. just walking around with your balls in pain? I never had it's, that. It's, Sometimes my left nut will hurt. For for no constantly reason. masturbating. Constantly. So he never gets it. No, not even. In fact, I've uh, probably masturbated less now. See, blue balls is from you can't masturbate because you're, she's still with you or you're in public, you know? You can always masturbate. Like you're on vacation and staying at the parents. Uh, <laughs> uh, so no, you can't always masturbate. You just got to find the time and the area. You got to get out of the situation, right? No, Is that you what you're can saying? be in the situation, just time and area. What? Yeah, there's there's bathrooms everywhere. There's that's what I'm room. saying. You got to get out of the situation you're in and go find a bathroom. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's always opportunities. I'm saying. So you've all, you've always like been a hundred percent. I thought that go. was a, for the longest time. I thought that was a myth. No, I thought it was an old wives' tale. It's painful. I haven't gotten since I was a old kid. Old wives talking about their husbands' balls. Super painful, bro. It's when they pull back really? on you. Yeah, it's when they change their mind. Uh, oh, oh like, that's no. that's that's emotional pain. No, no, no. <laughs> it's blue balls. It's physical pain. Like I was getting. What do you mean? It's when they in change your, their in mind. your balls. I was getting. A, you get uh, physical pain in your balls. In your balls, they feel like like they're about to fucking. Like just like rocks, like just like intense pressure. Like you should have hit a target, but they're like, no, uh, cease fire. And you're like, fuck, bro. I don't, uh, you know, are you sure that's blue balls? That sounds more like rape frustration. Like you're like, you didn't. This guy it. takes it to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you're like, uh, and then she says, no, and you're like, oh, I can't. No, but it. your balls, your balls are like, we're ready to fucking go. Emotionally, you're like, OK, I respect you. But, you're but like, your balls oh, are rapists. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like you got kicked in the nuts. Like, that's how painful it is. I was 16 years old. No. I was at the movies. I was getting head from this girl. We skipped school and shit. And uh, Usher walked in and she fucking popped up all like, oh, we're fine. And the guy was like, you guys, you need to get the fuck out of here. And when I'm walking out, I'm like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? As my erection goes down, my balls uh, 
Like the, All the blood just goes down just, there? I guess so. Yeah, maybe I would like to actually know the scientific, you know, reason. For blue for, balls. For blue balls, yeah, because my balls are ready to get dumped, <clears> you know, to be emptied. And they were like, we're not going to do this? What the fuck? You know what? Fuck you, dog. And they hurt the shit out of me. Now, I want to let you know right now that the term blue balls uh. is, is a uh, racist, patriarchal, uh, white man's term oh. because... Their balls, I assume, are what? Pinkish? Pink, pink, yeah. That's why it gets full of blood. Maybe it starts looking a little purple, a little Like a blue. rubber band around them type of vibe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it's called uh, epididymal hypertension. Ah, okay. And uh, can occur when a male becomes sexually aroused for an extended period of time but does not, not have, have an, an orgasm. orgasm. Yeah. What are the symptoms? Blue balls can uncomfortable. Can be uncomfortable, uh, but the symptoms are generally or mild and test. pass quickly. Fuck no, not when your hormone hormones are raging. Maybe, <clears throat> see, so this is maybe maybe this is why uh, I've never had it because you have to be aroused for an extended period of time, mm-hmm. and then just stop yourself stop. from being aroused. Yeah, well, not stop I don't yourself. Think that's ever I'm happened. saying like, every woman I've ever been. With has been horny as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> one you got. You're. I all, find it when they're already limping. <laughs> <laughs> Put me down. I got you. So <laughs> far. Good Blue for ball. you. That's what I'm saying. Good for you, man. You, you know, you never had like a kid walk in or something, you know, or or. Well, uh, that, but that, that's also like your uh, dad knock on the door. You're like, oh fuck, oh, what's going also, on? That's also like you're, you're telling. You ask me what's your batting average, and I'm like four fifty. You're like, wow, that's great. How many at bats have you had? I like ten or twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, yeah four four and a half times out of ten the times I've had you know it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean again it's uh, happened maybe maybe two fingers of f- full of times you know what I mean. Two you, fingers full of or times. maybe a handful of times, but I'm mean I'm thinking twice uh, in my life. You know what I mean? Maybe twice in my life. <clears throat> Where somebody just uh, said I cha- I you took your shirt off and they said. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, we'll do it twice later, but now I have to, f- you know, digest my lunch. I was like, bitch, throw up on me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I injured my cat, uh, my, my, uh, my fucking, uh, what is it called? Achilles. I mean, I didn't injure it. Like, it doesn't hurt, but uh, it, it burns. Are you tapping your foot or what's going on? No, I'm just... Cause I I, heard, I rem- you were saying earlier about that you you, you were working out you started working mm-hmm. out and I was um, like three days ago I finished exercising and then uh, afterwards it was fine and then the day after just my Achilles tendon just started feeling like warm oh shit yeah or like or That's like a tear. It, or like is it it's a tear yeah when it's warm it's a it's a tear oh uh, you gotta you gotta chill the fuck out and just not do uh, any. Six weeks at least. Six weeks. At least six to eight weeks, really, for it to heal. And it might not heal right, mm. but low impact. What, what were you doing, jogging? Uh, fucking uh, burpees. Yeah, bro. We're past that. <clears throat> we are elliptical and stationary bikes. <laughs> and uh, wrist, and wrist uh, walks. what's it called? Uh, uh, bench press. Okay, bench press. All right. I'm saying that's probably the the safest exercise, right? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, mean, my elbow was with your fucked, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. My left Push shoulder ups. pops. Your left shoulder pops too. Well, anyway, I found <laughs> out that I'm a fucking uh, a 58 year old man that shouldn't be doing young people <laughs> exercises. <laughs> you just gotta go lighter. You can do the same exercises. You gotta go lighter, and maybe work on your form than rather than the the um, the amount of that you do. No, you know what? It, what I think it is. I think it's because I have such an addictive personality mm. that just like you know, uh, before doing uh, when I when I used to do drugs, mm-hmm. like some people could do a line of coke, have six beers, maybe go home. Ah. Yeah. And I'd be like, why don't we get some more, bro? And then go get a fucking 18 pack. Jesus and Christ. And finish this fucking night out properly. <sighs> because I once I, so I, I, when you exercise, you, I get a fucking awesome feel, especially if I start sweating, mm-hmm. I start feeling like amped up. Like I want to, I want to do more. And then I get addicted to that and I keep going and going and going. And I've, I've done that before, like running, mm-hmm. like sprints. The back of my knee just started stinging. Mm. I was like, oh, 
oh, you stupid bitch. And yeah, I had to stop. You don't like take like naproxen or ibuprofen oh, or anything man, before? Fuck that shit. That'll, that'll actually help you. Yeah, I'm going to get some naproxen. Yeah, yeah, that that'll help you. <clears throat> Take that before every workout. Our livers are already Wait, fucked. N- n- naproxen, uh, it's like ibuprofen. It's the same ibuprofen. Shit. Yeah, yeah. It's, actually, I think it's aspirin. It's the same shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you can't work out like a young man anymore. You got to take no, brisk brisk dude. walks. And then, I know. And then I do love the, brisk walks. And then do the though. sauna after. <laughs> That's what you do. Breezy brisk walks. Yeah. Well, at least I'll just do pull ups and fucking push ups and. So how's the benching coming? Do you feel like the what? The benching. Your your elbows aren't fucked. Your wrists aren't. Your wrists aren't. Oh, fucked. He hasn't your been benching. Aren't, have you haven't been benching. Uh, fucking uh, with dumbbells. Oh, okay, okay. But what's uh, the weight? No, it's like uh, there's fifteen. Why oh, you gotta ask him that? Oh, yeah, fuck. Because I twenty. I, I got twenties. Yeah, I just do twenty, and I'm good with that, bro. Well, I think I can't do more than twenty because at some point it just gets heavy to just. Get into place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, ah. Yeah. Once so you, once you get it up, but you got to like will yourself like, do this, bitch. And you got to hold <laughs> it on your titty and shit. Throw it up, throw it up with your knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you, so you're doing 20s? I'm doing 20s, but I'm doing uh, like burnout drills. <clears throat> okay. I'm doing 30 second 15s. Right. Yeah, I can't do uh, heavy weight. I just, I just like, like start sweating. Yeah. The repetitions and shit. My my daughter's training too for I don't fuck the end of the world I don't know why she's getting into it I don't know why I have no idea, but we're doing burnout uh, sessions right like almost like uh, tabachi drills Have you heard of the, the tabachi tabachi? It's when you you max out everything that you do for like thirty seconds and you do like uh, two round three rounds of that. Where like you you jump rope as hard as you can for thirty seconds, and then you hop on a treadmill, and you sprint hard as fuck for thirty seconds, you do push ups as much as you can in thirty seconds, and then you fucking chill for like a week. You let your body. Heal. I mean, you burn out till you hit muscle failure. Yeah, and um, then you chill for a week, let your body heal, and then you do it again, and it it drops so much weight because your body actually heals the fuck up. It's not like you're doing biceps and you're like, I'm gonna do triceps tomorrow. You're still working the bicep muscle, mm-hmm. even though it's not isolated. You know what I mean? You're still working it by by proxy type nah, shit. You got you got to isolate. No, but you, if you give your body time to heal, your body reacts. Fucking it. I mean, it's. I mean, I, now I'm an expert, right? I worked out one time, and now I'm an expert. <laughs> I work out once a week, and I'm in amazing I'm, I'm shape. Not, I'm not. I'm not fucking with you. I'll do like ten pushups, <clears throat> and I'll be cut, bro. I'm not. I'm not fucking with you. Yeah, I and mean, then it, and then it, the cutness dissipates. What are you talking about? If I don't keep it up, yeah. <laughs> I do one thing. I, uh, I do like about working out is now I, I give myself permission to just eat like a fucking stupid animal. Oh no! Just big fat burgers. Well, God bless you, bro. Fucking spaghetti. Yeah. Oof. Fuck no. Just fucking bunch of sauce. More sauce than there should be. It's like soup. Oh. With like giant fucking meatballs. You don't get bloated. <clears throat> you probably of don't. You probably don't overeat though. Do you overeat? How many helpings do you do? You, do you get? <clears throat> um, just enough to, you know, be wow. satisfied. I, I I hardly ever like eat like gorge uh, yourself. Yeah, I, but uh, but when I do, I fucking do. I gorge myself where I want it in my head. I take a knife. Did you, your eyes just went back. I swear to God. As fuck. And like last night we had Chinese food, and I was like blaming her. I was like, "You fucking bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna eat everything." Where I in my head, I want to take a knife and just give myself some room to fucking like, <laughs> like I'm swear I swear like let my belly deflate. Wow. Yeah, yeah, just like oh, uh, you know. I actually took my uh, my ma to uh, my Mother's Day to uh, oh shit to fucking uh, chopstick that that uh, that buffet. Mm-hmm. She fucking loves the buffet for some reason. Oh, nice. And we fucking ate. I ate like a. Idiot, like those eats where you feel like like you might not be good to drive. <laughs> you know, it's like, dude, I might fucking go to sleep on the way home. <laughs> we start hitting the rumble strips on the way back. <laughs> you ate so much. <laughs> Fuck. We should uh-uh. do a, a, a mukbang. Oh, let's do you it. Keep, you keep asking Gross. for that, and I'll never do that with you. <laughs> you guys should sit next to each other. Can't do it. No. <laughs> do mukbang. Well, you guys possible. do at least what we talked about. I'm about trying to change uh, my life, dude. What? I'm trying to change my life, and if I go down, if I take, <laughs> if I take one step down the wrong path, I I know myself, dude. I'm like, we, I mean, we got ten ten views. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Once a week, come on. Once a week, twice a week, bro. We need content. 
Oh my god! Before you know it, you're like Monday through Friday, lunch pail kind of guy. What do you What do you do? <laughs> I, I eat for a living. All proud and shit. Fuck no. Uh, fucking jowls. And then all of a sudden, we, there, there, there needs to be more drama. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you never listen to me. <laughs> you start picking fights. <laughs> Let's all wrestle. <laughs> start incorporating. We, we can't fit across the table anymore. <laughs> I will get carried away. I'm a food guy, man. <laughs> I'm a yeah. food guy. You know what cool place you I think you should take your girl, your parents, or whoever you love the most, right? Uh, to this place called Hot Joy. It's in Southtown. It's of eclectic. It is. No, of it's, course. A, it's eclectic. A f- affordable and eclectic, and it's uh, uh, Asian Mexican fusion, bro. That's my shit. It's I didn't know it was my shit either. I didn't know it was my shit. I've never tried it, and I, I've no I've wanted to try Korean Mexican. Uh, Asian really? yeah. stuff since like maybe four years ago. Damn, it's fucking. What is it called again? Spicy hot, hot joy. Oh, hot joy. Hot joy. Hot joy. And it's hot uh, joy. it's really tacky. <laughs> <laughs> hot joy. Hot joy to do. Hot joy. Hot joy. Hot joy. Hot joy to do. It plummeted. We're just, it's over. Canceled. Canceled. Dude. Um. It's fucking. It's a. It's eclectic. Meaning, it's like super tacky in there. Where there's like a sombrero and a dragon. You know what I mean? And a Chinese dragon and shit. What, why and not? Uh, they got these like cool fucking like uh, fish bowl drinks. And we got a like a virgin one for my girls, uh, like like niece and nephews and shit. I, like I want to take over there where they do the cinnamon and they light it on. So they just gave them lemonade. Know. I don't know. I didn't try it. I didn't try. I was drinking the alcohol one already. You know what I'm saying? Getting it was, nice, it was nice, it. and talking, saying truths. You know, there's no <laughs> saying truths. There's no gold behind our currency. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> Yo, this double dragon is the shit. By the way, I lost my ring in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm telling you. Did you get a ring yet? <laughs> no, she's gonna buy me a ring. We're not gonna do the uh, wedding after all. Sorry, fellas. Oh, that's what you guys decided. We're going to do a, a a wedding. I mean, a, a dinner. Reception? Because, yeah. Because, one, my dad's going Why through his, uh, his treatments and shit, so. Is it going to be a destination thing? I th- well, we're going to take a trip, yeah. No, it's just going to be like a really nice dinner, you oh, know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's we'll, fucking cool. I wish more weddings were like that. Yeah, yeah, why not, man? I was thinking about I'm gonna spend a bunch of people on <laughs> money on people that I, most people are at the thing. I'm really I'm not gonna give a fuck about you know I, you know you guys. Do we still have and, to bring? Uh, have to bring gifts? Say other people I care about, huh? Do we still have to bring gifts? I don't give a fuck. I've, n- I've never asked for anything. an envelope. I'm gonna bring it. Well, I've never asked anything from you specifically, bro. Why would you even bring that up? Can I put a hundred dollars in your cleavage and say hey, <laughs> nice wedding? Actually, that would be cool envelope. as fuck. I don't know. Cool. Envelope. That's an envelope? Be, yeah. 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 My and girl's going to be like, like, actually, my girl does kind of look like uh, Jennifer Melfi a little bit. You know? <laughs> my head was spinning. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, this is Jose. This is Diego. This is Jose. This is Junior. This is Diego Junior. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Oh, yeah. yeah uh, Diego. This is Diego. This is, a ho- this is Joe. This is wife Maria. This is Joseph. This is uh, Jose. He is wife Maria, yeah. Still would be Maria. His wife Mari, that's Maria. <laughs> Mari, Maria, Maribel, Marisol. Marisol. <laughs> Maria Cristina, Maria, uh, Elia, uh, what's her name? What's your name? Oh, that's right. Marianne. And my brother, Maria Jose. <laughs> Jose Maria. Yeah. Used to be with my sister. We're going to do that, but it's because we, uh, we're going to have a, a baby. Did I tell you about that? Uh, I think you had mentioned the possibility Yeah uh, That was more than likely Yeah well you, you know what I'm saying One shot one kill you know what I'm saying And uh, dump city homie <gasps> Dump city And so Swimming in it Swimming swimming in women with limit Coronas and limit you know what I'm saying <laughs> It was uh, up to our eyeballs and comes. I was doing the backstroke <laughs> at some point <laughs> In my baby batter dog a fucking tuna tunnel was filled up. Tuna tunnel. <laughs> Dipped her in it. Breadcrumbs. <laughs> Back in it. More bread. Double layered, bro. Baked it for 20, 25 minutes. She's pregnant. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, I'm excited about that, bro. That's fucking great, man. I'm, ex- I'm really excited about that. You know, I haven't told my family yet or anything. You haven't told your family? No, I haven't told my... my um, I told my dad... 
which uh, uh, I think he might have forgot. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is the thing he told me that is like really important? <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, I shouldn't tell him. But I'm like, no, dude. He's like, oh, okay. Hmm. So what uh, have you guys decided on what gender to raise him as? I'm, I am all set for uh, Z. Zim? Zim, like whatever it is, I don't know. Them, uh, I'm gonna uh, let them choose neutral, Zim, neutral colors. She wants she she wants to keep it gender neutral. I kept Ava like gender neutral, like her stuff in her room. Everything was like gender neutral. A lot of earth tones, you know, yeah. which I like. And she was already saying that. I was like, man, don't. That's why we're here. You know what I mean? Like that's why we're right fucking here. I keep your eyes on the fucking floor. <laughs> but what if you end up? Having, <laughs> what, uh, what if you end up having a boy? Do you think you're gonna go ultra masculine and be like, no, no you know what? I need to. Raise it, see, my- that's the thing. If I don't go ultra, if I go ultra masculine on him, he's gonna be a sissy. I already know it, dude. Mike, my, my Ava's already like rebellious towards me already. You know what I mean? I can't have two of them and shit. So I think I'm gonna lay off of him, make his own decision, find out he's a serial killer later. <laughs> now, mm. I just want him to be a good liar. I want him to... Um, boys are bad liars, Boys, are, especially when they're younger. That's what I'm saying. I want him to be a, a good liar. Mm-hmm. I want him to... Um, well, I don't want him to be a sucker. A you know? Huh? You're already raising them as a him. Again, I'm gonna. I'm old school. I yeah. say him him and her, but... Until you tell me otherwise. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> yeah. I'm pretty old school. I'm old school, man, you know? I hit other people's kids. <laughs> <laughs> That trips me the fuck out, bro. I would shoot somebody if they fucking put their hands on my kid. Well, now, but if you were growing up in the 50s. I don't know. I think I would yeah, have the same teachers mentality. were allowed to, like, smack you and stuff. Only if your parents said it was okay. No, in the 50s, it didn't matter. Nah, in the 50s, 50s, it, 50s, they would have been the first school shot up by me, bro. You touch my geez. kid, I'm fucking shooting everybody up. Mm. The principal said it was okay. Bring him in here, too. <laughs> Fuck that. I'll fight both of you fucking bitches. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm like possessive or controlling, but I don't want people hitting my kids, you know? No, nah, nowadays in schools, they don't They do not do anything. They don't. Yeah. No, they actually, no, they, can they, still, they do the opposite now. Yeah. yeah. They still can. You know that, right? <laughs> my, uh, no, it's not an option at our school. My girl uh, was like, man, it's like so, some of these kids, I, I get the feeling they're abusing the safe space. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, of course they're abusing the safe space. It's a place to be an asshole and be like, oh, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, They. Uh, I, I guess you said uh, sometimes they're, they're just like, they just fall apart and yeah. they go, I want to go to the safe space. Yeah. Oh, it's an actual place? <clears throat> yeah. Where, oh, they, fuck. where they can just basically take a break from being yeah. in class. Oh, I thought it was like a safe space in their head or something. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, wow. They go to a physical place it's where they're not supposed to be bothered. Place. Yeah, oh, it's wow. usually like a beanbag underneath some desk. It's a fucking corner in the room. When yeah. the fuck was timeout was a place we didn't want to go. Now they're like, I just want to be in timeout and be alone and collect my thoughts. Yes. Now, they're, now they're like, they want to go. Yeah. That's where they used to put the rowdy kid. The rowdy yeah. kid had his safe space like we used to put him in the fucking corner yeah or outside you had to take his desk outside take his door like <laughs> stare at the wall for eight hours <laughs> and be rehabilitated somehow yeah. i know right it's just thinking of psychotic things. my son has his own classroom like whenever he <clears throat> gets too overwhelmed he gets to go to another teacher's classroom and it's just him in there mm. wow to calm down yeah, yeah yeah i mean coddle the abuser i guess i don't know <laughs> yeah, they don't want to do anything anymore. Like my daughter took a, a knife to school. Uh, yes, not yesterday. Whoa. The day before. Yeah, it was one of those uh, Swiss, wrong with it. Swiss Army knives. Yeah, and then she got out of it by being like, "It's a knife. I didn't know I got it because I thought the scissors." And then I they was didn't arrest open them. you immediately. No, they didn't. They didn't arrest uh, me. Why would they arrest For me? For why? You gave Why your daughter a knife. Get in trouble? I didn't it's a give knife. my daughter a knife. She it's a took tiny my little son's knife. knife, dude. It's so much has changed. Wow, my buddy got kicked out of school because we went fishing. Yeah, and he forgot there was a knife in his bag, and they did a random search. You know, oh, it was random. Columbine it just happened though, right? No, Columbine. It, yeah, maybe. Fuck, I guess. So. Yeah. That that no tolerance. They policy. they started making uh, after that shit happened. They started making everybody. Everybody in in our high school had to have mesh backpacks. Yeah, yeah. everybody, oh, the yeah. clear ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that now was they, so, I was so fucking angry when they yeah. when they did, and then eventually, you just it's you know it's like our rights. We slowly give them away, and you just don't miss them. Don't miss them. <laughs> yeah. And you actually appreciate like thank God, you know, like I feel safer now. <laughs> you know, the kids making a bomb over there. But if it would have been my son, I think they would have called the cops on him though. Yeah. Like if he would have brought his knife. 
and was showing it off. Your son would have been carving his name in the fucking thing. They would have. But no, that, no what fate I'm getting at, unless the one we make. How, <laughs> stupid. Because <laughs> they called the cops on him because he wouldn't come back in to school from recess. Mm-hmm. He just kept running around. They called the cops for that. My daughter brings a knife. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but a, a, a Swiss Army knife. It's it's hardly even a fucking knife. Ni- one knife. A you knife. Get it on a plane. That's you know? it's true, but you also no, you can't. can't. You also you, you also oh, can't yeah. take like a fucking a uh, lotion bottle of lotion that's too big. You yeah, know? yeah. What the fuck is that gonna do? I had a um, people's imagination, dude. I swear to God. A, a wine bottle opener, right? Yeah. But it had a little sharp edge that's to like pop a beer cap off, and they're like, <clears throat> "You can't take it because of the sharp edge." I'm like, "So the screw is okay?" They're like, "Oh yeah, it's for wine, but the sharp edge <laughs> can be Stupid. used to slice someone's neck open." I was like, "It's what? I can plunge this yeah. into somebody's yeah. neck too?" Stupid. I was like, "I'll break off the edge." They're sorry, you're either gonna have to drink it here or <laughs> like drink. Oh it. my god! No, no, no. But uh, you know, they're like, "Sorry, either we can keep it, or you can throw it away." I so I broke it and like. And I fucking clapped it inside the trash. Like, I will die before I give it to you, you fucking motherfuckers. They were just going to pocket it. It was yeah. like expensive shit from from Hawaii. Hawaii. They wanted it, too. Yeah, I They were going to make did. a note of where you were throwing it. Yeah, well, she, the lady was like this. She was like, this is super dangerous. I was like, bitch. I want to go to that weed trash can Jealous. when you leave Colorado and stuff. And you you know how they're like, oh, you can't shit, take it. Yeah, oh, shit. They just yeah. fill it in. I just want, like, you get there, you know, and then just go straight to that trash can and just reach your hand in and try to take as much Bro, as possible. Bro, all, the, all the, the bag tosser guys, I know. They're That's all a- fucking high probably all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I got that bag. I got it. Well, it's one of the trash benefits, bags. One of the benefits of going through that job, probably. You know what I mean? There's benefits to every fucking. Yeah. Everything. You just got to find it, you know. I'm fucking wearing cargo you gotta shorts. Steal. Damn, dude. Okay. C- can I tell you something? About, I found out where I get my uh, mischievous side from from my dad. Like, to make deals and try to, you know. What do you mean to make deals? To screw people over? Not screw people over, but we both get what we want, but it's at a cost. You know what I mean? That's screwing people over. It's not screwing people over. You still get what you want. And you give people monkey paw deals? Yeah. A little bit. Sometimes. Not, any, <laughs> not anybody I care about. Not anybody. Damn. But uh <laughs> so again I'm right. You screw people over. Not screw people over. It's business, you know. Well, give an example. <laughs> give an example. Who screw people always I'll say, tell you if you're screwing business. people it's over. It's business. That's what they always say. It's, it's business. business. What's That's the example? Give an example and I'll tell you if 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 it's screwing people over. Okay, so when I was a kid, I used to Well, someone's going to get screwed over. So in, order, <laughs> in order to get in order to get what we want, in order to get what we want, someone's going to get screwed over, it's right? It's not personal to so, business. So, when I was a kid, I used to steal, right? I used to be a thief and shit, right? And it was fucked up and I've got karma hit back to me yada yada yada. But at the time, I was making some pretty good bread. What were you so stealing? What, I used to steal um I used to just steal, right? And so <laughs> part of the process was I would trade something for something that was valued to somebody else. I would trade value that I didn't have anything value uh, valuable in, and I would get I would get car seats, right? Mm. And I used to go to my neighborhood, and I would sell car seats, right? Wait, wait. When you say car seats, car seats for babies? For babies. Yeah. Or okay, I just I thought you meant like maybe the whole the actual car seat. <laughs> I did know of a place that would that Dude, would do that too. Yeah, there was a chop shop by my buddy's uh, house. Who has a Ford Explorer? I got to remember. Uh, remember Claudio, who, uh, yeah. who infamously didn't have uh, back seats in his car. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, he was insane, he was, bro. Yeah, he was throat. He was throat. And so, you know, I used to do something for whatever, and then I would get car seats, and I would go sell them to the neighborhood. It, there was all profit to me. I did not give a fuck about. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have. It was all profit. So I would sell it for fifty bucks if I knew him twenty bucks. You know, yeah. booster seats for people in my neighborhood. Everybody always had fucking kids. Since we Mexicans were are reproducing at that rate. Yes. where you always had yes. somebody. Yes, <laughs> someone's yeah. always like, "Oh, bro, I heard you selling car seats, bro." I'm like, "Yeah, what's up?" <laughs> What's up, bro? You know what I mean? You open your coat. <laughs> it's hard to say. It's coat's heavy as fuck. I can install him for 20 bucks. Yeah. And so, you know, shit like that. So I found out. So my dad's telling me the story. Like, it just it's fucking bananas. Like, man, I was... Because my mom, my mom's pretty honest. She wheels and deals, but she's very fucking upfront with everything, you know? So my dad said uh, he was in uh, uh, Bosnia, right? 
And uh, he says, like, yeah, we had we had the so in the when he went to Bosnia, it was a holy war when he went when he went. The the Christians were killing the fucking Muslims over there, and he was like, it was crazy because they're the same people. They're yeah. they're they're the same race. They're the same. It's just their religious beliefs. And he's like, so we were there, and we were like basically just there to to watch them kill each other. You know what I mean? Like we were. I mean, yeah, we would protect. You know, Muslims and take bring them in. They the late and there was no men, no men in the village or whatever the fuck. It was all women, and the women needed to work, and so they would come work, wash the clothes, you know, wash things, you know, dust whatever the fuck. The uh, the the camp. He was in a camp too, mm-hmm. and so one of the um the little burger joints on the camp was run by this by the one sort of like. Survivor guy He was a, a like a Christian dude But he didn't agree With killing Muslims And shit right Yeah And so my dad Had to keep inventory Of the food and shit like that The waters He was like He was like oh, Pallets and pallets Of Evian water Because that's all That's all they drink Over there in Europe Is just Evian right And so um, One of his soldiers Was like Hey um, You know that fucking The burger joint guy He comes in He steals two Two six packs of water Every fucking night My dad's like What the fuck And so My dad goes up to the To the burger guy He's like <clears throat> hey, yeah, let me get a burger and shit, right? He's eating and shit. He's like, hey, man, let me talk to you for a second. Let's see, you like working here? He's like, oh, yes, I, I make more money than I make in the whole year in one day here. You know, tell my dad, he's like, oh, shit, that's cool. Where do you get the water from? And the guy was like, oh, uh, uh. he's like, just tell me, it's fine. And the guy goes, I, I take him from the, from the warehouse. And he's like, you know, I'm responsible for that fucking water. You know, I have to keep inventory for that water. And my dad's already thinking in his head is what he what he wants to say, but the guy already knew. I guess look in my dad's eye, and the guy's like, "Oh, you come here, you 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 eat for free, you eat for free." Oh, nice. And so, and this is how I know my dad's a crook. He's like, <laughs> "This is how I know my dad's a crook." He's like, "So now I own a burger joint, you know." And he <laughs> my dad's like, "He's like, well, I get to eat for free, right?" And so he tells the guy, "Hey, I want some alcohol. <laughs> Give me some alcohol." He's, and the guy's like, "Ah." Oh, uh, Come on, I, I could get in trouble at the gate if they find me bringing heat. My dad's like, well, then you ain't getting no more fucking water, motherfucker. And once, I'll tell and, on and you. And once you, know? you were in Garza's pocket. <laughs> Straight up, bro. Straight up. Fuck you, pay me shit. <laughs> yeah. So the guy, he's like, listen, so my dad already had a scheme. He's like, listen, I'll give you every on bottle. You fill it up with your fucking liquor. Because he's like, they made it out of peaches and shit, you know? Homegrown, whatever the fuck, moonshine and shit. And so I'll give you, it, it looks just like water. You know, it's clear. <laughs> I give you an empty one. You go. You fill it up. You bring. It looks like water, bro. They're not gonna check you. You know, you're already in grain here. So the guy was bringing in. He would give him. My dad would have a water bottle on him, right? And this is. I don't know why I should say this. And he would bring. He would give it. He's like, all we're gonna do is trade. You give me. I want order of water. You give me it. Boom. I give you one. What give the me fuck? the good stuff. And I was like, so did you? So did he keep taking? He's like, yeah. I let him keep taking the six pack. He's like, well, did you let him take more? He's like, no. That was the deal. <laughs> Two six packs a night. That's it. You know, and the guy would use it to clean and shit too, like mop. You know, oh, they didn't have like running water, so they would only drink bottled water. And, and then they had, too. yeah, and they, so he would clean, he would boil water. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the guy used to cook and shit. And my dad's like, yeah. So I owned a burger joint in Bosnia, <laughs> and uh, you know, and I was like, so what'd you do with the liquor? He's like, I drink that shit. I I invite my friends, we play spades and talk shit, and we'd be all oh, fucked okay, up. Dude. And I was like, so you were having a? He's like, actually, it was actually pretty nice. I tried to go back, but your mom didn't want me to go and shit. And I was like, man, we thought you were like fucking hard times. He, <laughs> I swear, every time he would go, he would be like, hey, listen, I might not come back, okay. Hmm. Dad, please! And I find out he's playing pool. He's running a extortion <laughs> racket. In fucking a different country. <laughs> I was like, "Damn, dude, that's fucking genius." He's like, "It was." Oh my god, dude! So much shit that people did in the fucking army. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, and he was like, "Man, this is back in the eighties, dude. This is it was a different time, you know." Back in the eighties, dude, he could have probably been smuggling heroin. And yeah, people would've, would've, you know, right? <laughs> they would have been like, "Hey, some of our heroin's missing." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. That G G is just in your blood, dude. I don't know what it is, man. Um, come to the Um, yeah. I went uh, back to a place where my family's from, and I fucking killed that fucking Don. <laughs> Likes the fuck out of him, dude. So what do you do? That's you like Malandros. That? I don't do that. I don't do that shit anymore. That's like when I was a kid. You know, I used to always make deals and shit. You know, scams. Well, running I, scams I mean, but and your shit. your dad didn't like steal from people. He just allowed them to steal. He didn't extort the guy. Yeah, but he wasn't stealing himself. You know, that's your part. Of, that's organized crime. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. 
I mean, you took. They're from both breaking the law at that point. Yeah, that's but this guy, two, one more than one person. That's a Rico. Uh, <laughs> that's a Rico, a Rico predicate. predicate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But your dad was doing something understandable. You were stealing from other babies to give. Other to, no, I wasn't stealing from other babies. Yeah, there was that other baby's car seat. No, I was, was buying the car seats outright, but <laughs> just not with my money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought you were taking him from other from other vehicles. No, 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 no. no. So what? Do you want me to tell you the scam? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this live? We're live? No. Yeah. No, we're, we're not. not live. But this isn't live? But it's staying in anyway. But it's staying in. So. Is this live or not? Yeah? It's no, not it's live, not. but it's staying in. Okay. So it was before... Um, remember self-checkout? Now, right? Yeah. There's cameras. There's a person who sits there and watches you fumble with the thing. Before yeah. self, before that, self-checkout was like, yeah, go through. We don't give a fuck. Just yeah. fucking, you know. There was nobody staring at you. No cameras were on the fucking thing. You could just go up to it and beep and then walk off with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so what we used to do is we, I used to um, rob people and I would take their fucking credit cards and before they canceled it, before they knew it was gone, I would rush over to a store that had self checkout yeah. or the gas that was like paying at the pump was like oh paying at the pump we did that one time Whoa. With, a, with, a, with a credit card that we found yeah and everybody f- w- took our cars and filled up all our fucking cars dude i was doing that on a weekly fucking basis bro really? i would i See, would we found I, we found you a card. full a full tank of gas for 10 bucks now when you say that you used to steal it like no he said rob. You, rob rob um are you like Give me your Grabbing money. somebody by the fucking arm? Or? No, no, no. This is very stinky shit. I'll tell you guys later off off record how I did it, right? And so I would I would take their <laughs> stuff and then I'd put it back before they before they knew it was a, a thing. And so they'd come with like twelve hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars worth of charter, and they would come back to the place I was at and like, what the fuck? And we were like, hey, dude, look at the sign. And the sign said. You're fucked if you come here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, karma comes back to you. You know, I've got my identity stolen a fucking over 10 times. You know what I mean? And uh, somebody's bought couches, all plane tickets. And I'm, you know, for you. Yeah. All, all, all kinds of crazy shit, bro. My account was drained. I had like 20 grand in there. They drained every fucking thing. They even took out a loan of line of credit. Like, that's how fucked I was, you know? I feel like you stole from yourself. Like, hey. There's 20 grand in here. What happened? Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> right? <laughs> but I, w- I wouldn't do that because I would, you know, it's just too much energy to fucking yeah. put in that shit, right? Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, man, it was. And so I would do that weekly. You know, I had all my people nice. You know what I mean? I had fresh shit. I had chains, you know what I'm saying? All mad, you know what I'm saying? With the motherfucking street shit. I had shoes, nice, whatever the fuck, right? And um, yeah. this is before you had a kid. This is way before I was. Oh. I was a teenager. So you weren't he putting was diamond in your baby girl ear. No, no, not yeah. yet. No, not no, no, yet. Yeah, yeah. Actually, she don't even like diamond. She's all earth fucking. <laughs> Stupid. I wish I could give her like uh, gold, but she's like, no, I like like shit you make. You know what I mean? Ugh. And uh, aqua, she likes uh, rocks, turquoise. She likes <laughs> no. She likes stuff you make. Like it means something to her. You know what I mean? Yeah. She don't. Oh. She don't wear anything she wears. It's oh, this is my dad's ring. This I got with my grandmother. You know, That's shit good. like that. Yeah, yeah. She's she's cool like that. But yeah, dude, it was like uh, it was um, it was a while. It was like it felt like what the seventies were to the mafia, like just free range to do whatever you want. There's no, you know, no one's watching you. you know, there's no like fingerprint or whatever. There's no like now. You got eighteen thousand cameras looking at you. Someone can videotape you on their phone doing stupid shit. You know what I mean? Was this in Colleen or in San Antonio? This was in uh, San Antonio. Oh, in Colleen too. Damn, you're um, moving across county lines. Yeah, man. Uh, I used to, I used to, I started buying beer when I was like 15. I, I've, I've told you all this shit. Yeah. And I used to uh, sell beer to people, to people my own age, you know. And I'd upcharge them like crazy, you yeah. know. And I got my boy to do it too. How did you say you used to uh, be able to do that? Was it because oh, could you used to wear your your PT, uh, your father's PT uniform? I, first time I did it, I wore my dad's uh, PT uniform. Yeah. And I had the dog tags and everything. I had a stupid fucking haircut, you know. And uh, I walked in with some confidence. Still kind of have the stupid fucking haircut. And I started smoking <laughs> cigarettes at a young age, so it weathered my face a little bit where I looked like 21 or some shit, you know, when I was like 15. And so that's how cigarettes are bad. 
right. <laughs> so yeah that's the first time but then i came to san antonio i just like you know what fuck this bro i'm t- you know and so i walked into Stick the chest to out. the what the hood calls the indios you know you can't walk into a, a franchise you got to walk into the indios right yeah they don't and care so they do not care bro and i walked in i was I was chumming it up. I'm like, yeah, my fucking wife. And, you know, I was constructing job in my back. Let me get a pack of rubbers. <laughs> Let me get it. Let me get They used to sell cartons of cigarettes at the gas station, too. Yeah. Oh. Uh, they don't do that shit no more. They don't sell cartons anymore. You can't buy a, a carton of cigarettes no. at the gas station. You got to go to Costco. A Costco or you can go on base, you know. Don't they sell them at Walmart? Um, Could have sworn I... Maybe I don't like, think so. <clears throat> I bought them at Walmart. Oh, do you? That could have been like ten years ago, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think they do. They have them in a glass case now at Walmart too, or maybe H E B. I don't know the grocery store. H E B. They got them in a the glass case, but you still don't buy them by the when the, so, uh, the army was the only time I ever bought them in cartons. Yeah, and I I don't know why something about just getting out of uniform. I'm like I'm I'm, a, I'm civilized now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> a fucking animal with, yeah, yeah. with a box of boxes of cigarettes. <laughs> Let me get a big giant box of rubbers. <laughs> it's like, what do you have to do today? No, this is for the next six months. I just, I don't know. Yeah, so I used to buy a carton of cigarettes. I used to buy a, a case of beer. A carton of cigarettes. Two cases of beer, depending on who wanted beer, you know, in the neighborhood or my Soft friends, whatever the cigarettes fuck. cigarettes, too. And uh, yeah, dude, I, I, I just said, fuck it one day. I'm going to go in there, Indios, and you know, chumming it up. I bought everything I wanted to buy. Sold, I sold uh, cigarettes for five bucks. They were like $2 a pack. I sold them for five bucks, you know. I would sell a, 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 a six pack of beer for like 10 bucks. They were like $3 at the time, you know. But this is the same guy who used to sell you liquor out of his trunk, too. I used to buy liquor from this guy. He would come, he was like, oh, hey, you, you like liquor? And I was like, dude. He knew, he knew you weren't. I was trying. like, oh, my, I don't, but my wife does. Let me see what's going on. And so, uh, he would go to this trunk. He had brandy for so I don't even know if it was real, but it was in the bot in the in the. Uh, I think he used to get it from like Mexico. Did, did he want you to yeah. step in the back and share it with him? No, he would go to the front. Nah, right. <laughs> yeah, he would the beads. We go through the beads, <laughs> and he would fuck me silly. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I had cigars and <laughs> that, that liquor was not free, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it smelled like feet the whole time oh. in there, but. I was on a weird carpet, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I used to. He has to have. He had cases of bottles in his trunk, and he right right in front of the place. So he'd open his trunk. And I'm like, oh, cool, man. Let me get two bottles, and he would sell the bottles for like twenty bucks a piece, and I I I give it to somebody for like fifty bucks, you know. Some, Damn. And then you know how many people died in DUIs? I'm not. Right. <laughs> no, but I mean, it was just something that someone was gonna get it. And so I, at the time, I was the guy. Me and my other friend were the. I introduced him to the. And so we were the kids that could get it. You know. Yeah. Like, oh, we're having a bottle for. We're having bucks? a party. Can you bring a case? I'm like, yeah, twenty five bucks. You can get a case of beer. Yeah, let's do it. You'd sell, you'd sell the whole bottle for twenty bucks. No, I'd buy a bottle for twenty bucks. Oh, and you'd sell them by like that for eight, fifty. Uh, I'd sell eight? for fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ! That's why I'd get them from Mexico and I'd come back to the dorm and I have like nine bottles and I'd sell. Like a you know like yeah. an eighth of the for like twenty bucks. I used to do that, and they when I was stationed in Coke uh, El Paso, we go over the border and we buy bottles yep. at the Costco. They have like a Costco type and place. Go bring them back, bring them back, the and brewery. I'd, dr- I'd fucking sell them to call? the people that couldn't go on base in El Paso. It's Fort Bliss. You can be eighteen years old and drink. They want you to stay on base. Really? Yeah. Eighteen when years they, old. When did they put that law? I don't know. Is it a Texas thing? It's not a. It's not a Texas thing. It's like a, a a base thing. You can't do it at Fort Sam. You can't be 18 years old and drink on Fort Sam. But I, at Fort Bliss, isn't that weird? If you're able to fight, I you should be able not to drink. Fucking know I thought I believe that wholeheartedly. Man. That's probably why they uh, made that rule. They wanted to keep people in El Paso because a lot of the military personnel were going over to Juarez and it's oh, a free for all right, over right, there, bro. Right, yeah. And GIs. Oh, it was out of necessity to combat. I think the, so. Yeah. 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 And so the bowling Isn't alley what did at Fort Bliss was banging, bro. Nobody was bowling. Everybody's just dancing. You walk in, it's a fucking club, bro. But it's like. Right. There was a yeah. bowling alley in uh, in, in Fort Bragg. Uh-huh. And uh, it actually got uh, pretty popping because just because it was so big. And yeah. some people just don't want to go out or, or, you know, get in, get in trouble out mm-hmm. in the civilian world. You can just walk so to A your lot of people, yeah. Stuff. Like just young people and old people, like. Uh, parents, uh, fucking going out there and just getting drunk as fuck. Yeah, 
So I was a, a low level petty crime bullshit. I'm not like Edward fucking, you know, like <laughs> Damn, don't yeah. him under the bar. I mean, you know, well, you know, he served his time. He's <laughs> but you know, we fucking we've heard his stories or like I'm like, I would go home, you know? <laughs> Edward's like, nah, I bought a helicopter for no reason. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? I sold it immediately, but I bought it, you know. He went to he went to the majors when you were uh He went he paid for it, you know? Yeah. Uh, that was my scary that was the thing I was scared of. I never wanted to fucking to pay for I never wanted to go that route oh I had other people God, that dude. went that route and I learned from them and to me it wasn't a badge of honor I was dude, like a, it's scary just getting to a military base and even though you know nobody's gonna try to fuck you in the ass <laughs> yeah, at any yeah. moment I can just imagine like walking into like prison. a prison yeah and then there's these people that like it's basically their, their fucking vacation home you know yeah yeah and they're just jacked yeah, that's all they can do. Muscles on top of muscles, and everybody just assumes you're a pedo. Oh, uh, uh, or <laughs> what? No, I think they separate them. That's what Edward said. They they separate them immediately. <clears throat> the guards tell on you and shit. Do yeah. that. Guards oh, are pieces yeah. of shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I heard, I, that's the only way you can hurt somebody in prison if the guards cooperate with you. Yeah, well, the guards don't do anything. They'll let they they don't stop until you're done fighting. Yeah, so they don't go in there. Well, why would they? Yeah, well, I would be the same way. You know, that's the same way with kids. You go in there immediately when your kids fight. Nah, let them mash it out, <laughs> and I go in there. Well, see who's on the ground. Yeah. Oh my god. Imagine they just let you fucking, and you're just. Where did I hear that that there was an incident where this guy was getting chased around, but the other guy had a weapon. Right, and the guards were just kind of like yelling from the yeah to put yeah. down the weapon. Yeah, put down it, but the the guy never he just waited till he fucking killed him. God damn, yeah, that's brutal, dude. <clears throat> I like I like to think I would go out like that too. I'd be like, you know what, Riding fuck it, around. I'm a, I'm a fight, dude. I'm a fight. If they kill me, they kill me, but I'm not gonna fucking take it anyway. You know that they want to give it to me. You, know what I mean? you mean you wouldn't be uh, running around the no? I'd the just be like, all right, let's do this, bro. <laughs> He's bigger than me. I'm gonna get killed. Whatever, man. Let's just get this over with, bro. I can't run. I can't run that long. You know. What if What if he doesn't want to kill you? What I take if, off my if, shirt too. You know, I've seen some Jet Li movies and shit where they stab and they wrap our fucking wrist around. I would be creative. You know. What if he just wanted you? You know what I mean. To I rape me, you? and he, he better you. kill me after he rapes me because I'm not gonna forget about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, all right, you got me. I guess we can move on. No, like you fucking, I have trauma now, and now I gotta either rape somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> the cycle continues, or I gotta rape you back, or whatever. <laughs> Would that be fucked up? If that it was, was a retaliation <laughs> rape. <laughs> <It was> retaliation <laughs> rape. Like, wait, he didn't like it, but he ended up doing it back mm -hmm. to the guy. Like, we don't. I don't understand their culture. <laughs> <laughs> There is a prison rape culture. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was a prison rape cancel culture. <laughs> two rapes cancel each other out. That's just how it is. I like how you put the two dicks in. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it works. You know, we joke, but that's someone around the world right now is experiencing that. Two and it's anus, bro. Dumped. Oh. And the anus. Oh. That was... Uh it was terrible, yeah. <laughs> just to, <laughs> yeah, just come back down. To, oh, Re retaliation. That's not, that not something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got something for you, right? And, and I, yeah, you too. Actually, probably, yeah. What is it? So I was thinking about this, right? How long do you let your girl talk to you? Before you pause what you're watching. Um, if she doesn't get it after a couple of minutes, then I, then I, then I. Minutes. <clears throat> no, not minutes. Uh, if she doesn't get it after a couple of seconds. A couple no, of seconds. Dude. First of all, I don't think, I don't think anybody would sit there and talk to someone that's not paying attention for, for minutes uh, at a time. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You dude, think so? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's very passive aggressive. I've I have let it go. Like I've just been like, oh, let's see if she fucking. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh huh. What? See, but you look, you glance back. Yeah, Th there's a difference between going, like looking at the TV, going, uh huh, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Like that's fucking brutal, yeah, dude. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah, psychotic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there, wait, you psychotic have to for her to keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, both, both. <laughs> I think it's crazy, bro. It's like. 
Yeah, you because uh, I was talking about the person watching the TV. Yeah, you yeah. know, I would at least I, I at least do it like yeah, right. But I'm showing like this really isn't keeping my uh, my interest. Please stop. <laughs> do you have any emotion when you finally go? Okay, what? <laughs> do you have any emotion? Do you click with your whole arm? Yeah, yeah. I get my teeth together. I'm like, so what did she say? You're both doing it wrong. What? You, why? What? You're supposed to go, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, and let them talk the whole time, and then at the very end go and rewind mm. uh. to the part at the beginning, and you play uh. again, and they start talking again. You just that's when you're like, you give them the look. Mm. So you're a hateful motherfucker, and then and then you rewind again, and then you. <clears throat> that's some hateful shit, bro. I that's actually, hateful. Uh, I was that hateful. That's, that's. I rewind, but I don't make it a point for her to see it. Yeah, but I but I do go like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you verbalize it in my head. I give a very aggressive look at her. Like, are you done? Because it can be rewound. That's the thing. Most yeah. of the shit I watch can be. I can go back and watch. Yeah, it later, yeah you know. Yeah. And she's talking about my daughter bringing a knife to school, and I'm like, I don't want to hear this shit. Oh shit. That's the thing, though. If it's a live f- sporting event, oh, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, I got the. I can click back on it. Oh, you got the uh, what's it called? The yeah, I don't even want to call it anymore. The on demand or whatever yeah, yeah. feature, I guess, or some shit. Where it'll have like 30 seconds of the last thing. As long as I keep it on a channel, it'll go all the way back to when I clicked on the channel. And oh, then yeah. and then with her, what I do, I'm trying to talk to her and she's watching a show is I grab the remote from her hand and then I pause it and then I talk to her. Mm. <laughs> so you go the direct route, huh? Yeah. I, I just, I'm just cool. I don't interrupt my girl at all. I don't care Never. what you're watching. Thank God. <laughs> no, I get I, up and I pause. I'm like, where's the toilet paper? I've been calling you. Yeah. I, I treat her the way I wish she would treat me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to do it. Just and fair. <laughs> yeah. I cook. I make every enough for both of us to eat. And if she doesn't want it, I eat that. You know? <laughs> but when she cooks, she's like, "Oh, did you want something?" I'm like, "Yeah, dude. Of course." No, I'm joking. My girl is fatting me up very nicely, dude. <clears throat> but uh. No, well, I, was, I was talking to my girl last night. She's talking to me, actually. And she's going on about some important family thing, right? And I'm just like, yeah, what's up? And she goes, well, this is not. And she kept going. She didn't even acknowledge no, my frustration. I didn't even acknowledge your And then during the pause, I'm watching, like, we're watching Burr and shit, you know? And uh, and she, that was her thing to bring up Burr. Like, oh, yeah, we should just watch, like, one of Burr's specials. I'm like, dope. And I'm in, I'm laughing. I'm like, oh, fuck, I remember when he said that shit. And then she starts on her phone and starts thinking about life, whatever the fuck. And then just, I guess we've both seen it a thousand times. She starts talking. I'm like, Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? She said that? I can't believe. Fuck that, dude. And I put it play again. And then she goes, yeah, because she... And then I didn't even understand. I'm like, aha. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> and we we went... We hashed it out. You know, she finished her thought. And I was like, you know how much... Like, all right, and I was, okay, like, like, let me run this by you. And I, I did, you know, the bit, whatever. Like, the little joke about it. And she was like, she starts laughing and shit. And I'm like, so why are you right? And I was about to play it. She goes, yeah, yeah, because you could go this. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But both of you have girls that are like, they can't sit through a, a movie. You both said Unless that. it's a documentary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a documentary yeah. all day. So you guys yeah. have talkers. Like, you can't, oh, man, that'd be hard. You can't watch shit together. <clears throat> I can't. Yeah. Mm. I can't. I refuse to let her ruin movies now. I watch them by myself. <laughs> yeah. I get why people do that now. I thought they were just complete losers and psychopaths, but I'm like, no, dude, it's peace. Yeah, it's peaceful. <laughs> no one tell. And I'll, I'm. I talk through shit. I yell at the screen. I'm like, you stupid bitch, don't go in there. You know, whatever. Yeah. And she that annoys her. You know, which I get. But um, yeah, I make fun of the show. If it's if it's her show and it's a yes, stupid yeah. show, I have to make fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know where we are actually uh uh where we actually converge and actually join forces uh what uh, cooking shows. Mm. I can sit through cooking shows. She loves cooking shows. Yeah, and yeah. I'm actually like I'm not mad at this. This is actually entertaining. I like I like watching motherfuckers cook shit that I can't do. Yeah. Yeah. We we end we end up stopping it and go cooking whatever the fuck we watch. Mm. Yeah. We do that with uh porn. We watch a porn together. <laughs> And we're like, let's go try that. Hey, let's, let's go try that. Hey, I'm sexually aroused now. You want to go? Or what? <laughs> She's like, I need like a couple more minutes at the point. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you got to get them. Yeah. 
<clears throat> I wonder what she's doing right now. Let me call her. <laughs> so have you tried on the underwear yet, Roll? No, I have not tried the uh, sheath underwear, which, by the way, is a sponsor of uh, Nobody's Happy and uh, the Comedy Frequency Network. Uh, Josh, uh, what is the Comedy Frequency Network, by the way? The Comedy Frequency Network is where you can go to see all of the uh, podcasts that we produce. Comedyfrequency.com. I'm trying to pull it up. <clears throat> yeah, Sheath Underwear and you Brother know, Earls. Why don't you just make some favorites on here, bro? I should. All right. Next time. There so uh, what? Uh, what is the promo code for uh, for Sheath Underwear? It's actually the comedy frequency, and you can get 20% off of your order with uh, code comedy frequency. Hell yeah, dog. Look yeah. at that. You can just stick your, your dick and balls into it. Have George you. likes them. I like them. <clears throat> it's, it's an underwear that you can fuck on demand. <laughs> yeah, it is a little weird. At first, you know, like anything new. I, I, I want to try it now when I go home. Less sweat, bro. Keith sweat? Less Keith sweat. <laughs> so sweat on your body. Promo code Comedy Frequency and <clears throat> get twenty percent off, off your Keith shirts, underwear. your underwear. Uh, which one did you get? You got these, right? <laughs> I got the uh, camouflage ones because yeah. um, you motherfuckers took all the good ones. Well, it was either it, it was, was that or red lacy. Or these red ones right here. Lacy, not lacy. My thighs rub together. Well, you don't see the back, the the ass mm -hmm. line. <laughs> it's, it's cut out. You got to get used to it. Bobby's convinced that these underwear are supposed to make your dick look bigger. He's like, yeah. I was like, there's no padding in front, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just put your, he's like, I don't know. I like having the drops of pee in a separate area. <laughs> I got Isn't it like a bustier? I don't know For men yeah. <laughs> Like it just Keeps lifts your balls separates. <laughs> My ball cleavage God is damn on it. I point. wish I, I wish I had titties Why? To draw attention Like mm. like man just, titties just Like, like you talking about pecs Or you talking about to, to get your way? No either Either being a chick Or being in a universe Where guys also have titties I think it's like it's so easy to you use are in a universe ah. where guys have titties. What are yeah, you but about? to use them f for their their will, it not freak out the local uh, population. Yeah, you know? like ah, what not, the fuck? Not be ridiculed for them, you know? Yeah, be like even oh even big girls got juicy titties. You know, you're like, no. and she's big, but you're like, man, they're big titties though. You know, mm. no, they can be big with with little titties. They're talking to you with like thin girl confidence, with giant tits, and you're just like, yeah, I'll yeah, I'll talk to you all fucking day, giant. Giant tin. What was that thing that your cousin uh, uh, told you one time? He was like, abs on a skinny guy? That's like tits on a fat girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's fucking good. Yeah. That's fucking I, nice. <laughs> I think I, I told that story to Marcel and she started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> She actually, dude, she actually had a moment like, huh. <laughs> Damn it. I think he was trying out his bits on you is what he was doing. I've, I've always wanted the turtle shell, dude. Turtle shell? Keep my girth and my size, but I have a turtle shell fucking at, of abs, you know? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the turtle shell only looks good if there's a fucking, you got some plates stacked on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you just look fucking. Uh, looks weird. Like you have a growth. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Like some kind of d weird disease, you got lumps all over your fucking. Why would it change your? Why did you say keep the same dick and balls? Why would it change your dick and balls? What do you mean? Didn't you say that I would like to keep the same? What? what and then, but then have like the turtle shell over it. The fuck? Yeah, isn't that what you just said right now? No, I didn't say keep the same dick and balls. What'd you say? <laughs> What did you say? Keep the same girth, the size of me. Like <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about your dick. <laughs> Wait, so when your mouth's all juicy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that thing you said about your dick and balls? <laughs> Sorry, oh, uh, I got extra juicy on that one. <laughs> wow, you said girth, and I immediately thought dick. So <laughs> go on, go on about your dick and balls again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you weird me out sometimes. Dude. I'm. It's not even like in a cool way. You're like sometimes. Anyway. So what else about your dick and balls? <laughs> what else? Sweating. Yeah, is that what he said? Like, That's exactly what he said. So what else did you say about your <laughs> not delicious <laughs> bits? <laughs> your delicious bits. Oh. Uh, oh shit. 
Oh, I that okay. I just didn't comprehend because you're like keep the same girth, and I was like, stop looking at me. Like how that. does that make <laughs> that makes no sense? You're yeah, using like better mice. You meant <laughs> like the, the the same thickness of your of your body, right? <laughs> yeah, the same size of me, and having a turtle shell. Okay, that which makes sense. would include how does that balls. even like what? What do you? How does that correlate with like? It didn't make any sense to me. My, he he associates girth girth and he with perked dick. Up. <laughs> yeah, girth. I've only described girth when talking about my penis, never the size of my body. Girth goes for everything. No, it's, it's strictly for penis talk. That's because you're sick. <laughs> and now I know that I'm gonna have to treat you with delicate hands now. <laughs> I know you were touched as kid a kid. Gloves. Use girth to describe uh, penises, <laughs> uh, ropes. Mm. No, never. Uh, Anything that can be girthy, you know. Uh, arms. Arms, yeah. Nope. Strictly shafts. That's it. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cock and balls, huh? Yep. Cock and balls. Skinny fat shaft. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry what they did to you, bro. I'm so sorry about that, man. If I could take it back, if I go back in time, I'd say to just like kill him. No, I'm, I'm glad it was clarified though, like because I really, I didn't, it didn't make any sense to me. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Oof. I meant your body. Got it. <laughs> now, now that's, you know, enough. Enough. <laughs> I fight back, bro. Hey, All right. I, I, <clears throat> retaliation. Is it? Um, yeah, uh, I think we did an hour, right? Do um, you guys got uh, anything going on, George? Yeah, come check me. I'll be hosting my, uh, I'm hosting at Laugh Out Loud. When is this coming out? Is this, is this uh, uh, tomorrow? Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, come out this Sunday if you're in the San Antonio or the South Texas area to Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. I'm hosting for my very good friend, Edward Hernandez. Um, <laughs> fucking, we a special surprise. And uh, I'm really excited about it. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily promote me hosting a fucking show, but. Um, I'm also host. I'm also hosting. <laughs> I'm also on the show. Yeah, but it's it's uh, it's basically Wolf of Ignorance in a fucking nutshell, bro. It's gonna be dope as fuck, and uh, I'm I'm super excited about it, bro. I told I like I forgot about it until like a, a few days ago when Edward brought it up. And I was, oh yeah, oh, fuck yeah. yeah, dude, fuck yeah. Desolate wasteland, you know. And yeah. then this little gem came. And like, I'm gonna be yeah. on. I'm gonna be on that one too. Yeah, and all of us are. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, got revolver next uh, Wednesday, mm. uh, and I'm doing the storytelling. Uh, I'm doing that storytelling thing that uh, Tori, Tori's a local comedian. Uh, she booked me for this uh, Texas Public Radio TPR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess you just tell a story. It's a theme. Yeah. 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 I mean, something you're proud about, dude. I'm just gonna say my fucking uh, crazy get in a firefight story, the real one, not the 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 joke one. The one without the, it's still kind of funny. Just yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be funny. Yeah, it doesn't have to be funny. That's yeah. why I, I don't want to throw any pressure on myself. I was like, what if I punch it up? What if I tell the true story, but yeah. I punch it up? And I was like, you're gonna waste so much time. I think if you have all the five elements of a good story, I think you'll be fine. Which I <laughs> that story in particular, it's it's fucking solid gold, bro. Like you should definitely in your memoirs or whatever book that you need to write. I think that's that's gonna be a great chapter, man. Well, I'm definitely telling that uh, this next Tuesday, right before uh, the day before the Revolver show. Uh, Josh, do you have anything going on you want to tell Yeah, uh, other than the show May uh, 15th Sunday, May 17th, I'll be at Cherrywood in Austin, Texas. And uh, check out all the shows at FMCW Studios. Hell yeah. Oh, can I yeah. plug one more thing? Yeah. Hey, go... Uh, subscribe to your home podcast. My girl needs to see some kind of success with this. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing it. We fight a lot, but we we're gonna continue to do it. And so, if you like Raul, you like uh, FMCW. If you like us, there's more me, and there's, you'll get to meet her, and she's cool as fuck too. Your yes, home, your home podcast. And we also have the other uh, podcast that we do called Willful Ignorance, which is basically this. Uh, <laughs> Only at a different time. Uh, and more ignorant. Check it out. And more ignorant. Willful Ignorance. Check it out. Uh, your home podcast. Uh, this is Nobody's Happy. Y'all take it easy. Goodbye. Thank you, everybody.